Today we are doing punchkis and it's spelled P-A-C-Z-K-I, which is a weird spelling for the way it's pronounced. It's Polish and you have it on Fat Tuesday, although some places they have it on something called Fat Thursday, I think in Chicago that might be what it's called. It's to celebrate, it's the day before Ash Wednesday and it's what it started out as is to use up all the lard and the butter and the sugar and everything good before Lent. And they made this recipe in Poland and it came through, there was a, uh, a ruler, and I forget which one it was, and so he got it when all the French chefs started coming to Poland. That's when the recipe came about. So it's been around since the Middle Ages is what I read and they are really good. We used to have to order them ahead of time and people stood in line to get them. They're filled with jellies, custards, or like a lemon curd. Um, so you, I sometimes can do them with raspberry or strawberry preserves that I have but today I'm going to do the custard because that is my favorite. I'm going to start with our ingredients. We have four egg yolks and one egg. We have two cups of milk warmed to about 110 degrees, four tablespoons of butter, salt, vanilla, sugar, flour. We start with two packets of dry yeast. What we're going to do is we are going to put it in the warm milk. First we're going to put sugar in there, a little bit of sugar because the yeast needs something to feed off of. So you don't want the milk hot either because it will kill the yeast and it won't rise. So I put in one and two. Anyone not in Michigan, they may not know what a punchki is. But if you are in Michigan and anywhere near the Detroit area, you're gonna know what a punchki is. All right, so I'm gonna wait till this gets bubbly. In the interim, I'm gonna set this right here. I'm going to cream together my sugar and my butter. Just cream it together, get it nice and creamy. With your paddle attachment. Then scrape it down, add in your vanilla, your salt, and your eggs. I add them in all at the same time. Maybe. I add them in all at the same time and I just whip them until they're nice and fluffy. I whipped so it's not thick. I mean it's not thin, it's thick like it almost looks like cake batter, like a pound cake batter. My yeast has risen or has started to activate and up on the top it's going to look like milkshake kind of. So what I want to do is I want to start adding in flour. I'll add in the flour and then some incorporate that. Add in some yeast. Your dough is going to be a little on the loose side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep incorporating it and then You'll see what the batter is. I'm going to put it in a bowl that I buttered, grease all the sides of it, let it rise. Put it in my bowl that I have set in right here with butter. Put it all in there. Gloopy is the official term for this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plastic wrap on this and we are going to let it set till it, double it doubles in size. My dough has risen and you can see it's kind of bubbled up on top. Now I'm going to punch it down and it is 
oh, it comes together easier. And then what I'm going to do is put it out on a well-floured surface. If it's not well-floured, you're in trouble because it will stick everywhere. Flour on my hands, knead it a little bit. Really, I don't think I'm going to need to roll it out. I can just flatten it with my hand even though I have the rolling pin right here. And you want it about a half inch thick. And it is sticky. You see I have a lot of flour, bench flour. It's like patting a baby's bottom. Oh. Or when I get my kitties. Oh, pretty little babies. So, guess what? It is Mardi Gras. Fat Tuesday is the day before Valentine's Day, so I thought, what better than, and you usually use a circle, like, look what I have, I have a heart. And so over here, I have parchment paper and I have greased it. So, I'm gonna take these out. Maybe they won't hold shape. I don't know, we'll see, right? There we go. One, two, three, four, shemil, shemazel, hop and grep, or whatever that is, hop and grep incorporated. We're gonna do it my way. I'm going to take these, put them on the whole sheet, let them rise. Ooh. Yeah. Let them all rise, and then for about 30 minutes, they're gonna double in size, then we're gonna fry them. In the interim, I'm gonna make a custard to fill them. Like I said, you can have jelly, but why have jelly when you can have custard? So all you have to do is keep just reforming the dough like you would on a sugar cookie and then cutting them out. I'm now gonna make the pastry cream for my punchkis. Like I said, you could use jam to fill it. But I like the ones with pastry cream and the chocolate on top, can't beat it. So I have ingredients, I have seven eggs, I have sugar, cornstarch, milk in here, and that's just starting to simmer. You don't want it to boil, you want it to get bubbles on the side, which it has now done. And vanilla, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mix my eggs in with the sugar. Let's get it all out. I broke a couple when I was just separating the egg yolks. I don't use the whole egg, just the egg yolks. You can whisk, but I'm gonna whip. It's much quicker than whisking. Make sure you've scraped all the sides down when you do this. And you're going to get a ribbon. See how it goes really thick? That's what you want it to be. And you're gonna add in your cornstarch. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you mix your cornstarch until it's no lumps. Mix it completely. I wanna get it all out of there. Make sure you mix your cornstarch completely. Got my cornstarch mixed. Make sure you've scraped your sides down. I'm gonna start beating a quarter cup to a third cup of this hot milk mixture. Actually, it's just hot milk into here so it's not scrambling my eggs. Just gonna put just a little bit in there. And I'm mixing the whole time. Now I'm gonna mix it so it's all nice and creamy. The difference between a pastry cream and a custard is a pastry cream is usually cold, it's a little bit thicker, and it's, all, or it's always served cold, you can pipe it. It's a little thicker than custard. It's used a lot for fillings and tarts. So if you ever want to make a fruit tart, this is the pastry cream that you would use. Now I'm going to put the rest of it in there while I'm whisking, and I'm going to save this because I'm going to put it back on and cook it. 
And what I just did when I put that half a cup to third cup in there is I tempered the eggs. Now, you see I have another bowl sitting right here. Put that there just in case I need it again. All right. And I'm going to run it through a sieve. Strain it to make sure if there was any thing in there, it's going to get caught. So you want it through a fine mesh sieve. There we go. Get it all through. That looks yummy. So if there's any impurities in there, like anything, you know, I didn't mix up the cornstarch good enough. And I don't want to really um, push anything through. There we go. Now I'm going to put it back on the heat. I'm going to cook it on low until it starts to boil and I'm going to stir it constantly so it does not stick. You do not want your pastry cream to stick or get burned because you would have to start all over again. Alright, my pastry cream is done. Now I'm going to add in the butter. And I took it off the heat and I'm going to add in some vanilla bean. Then you whisk it in. To make sure you stir this all the time. And towards the end, get your whisk out because you don't want it to solidify in any way, shape, or form. I have, mmm, that looks so good. Now what I'm going to do is one more time, I'm going to put it through, one more time, I'm going to put it through the sieve. If this were a pudding, it'd be a little, or a custard, it wouldn't be as thick. There's a lot of starch, corn starch in there that thickens it. That's why it's so perfect for pastries. It doesn't run. And then, just gonna put it through, not push it, just work it through. See how it's going through on its own? I don't wanna force anything. I want my pastry cream to be smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put cellophane over this and you want the cellophane to sit right on top so it doesn't form a skin. There we go. Set it right on top of the custard or of the pastry cream. And I will put it in the refrigerator and let it cool so I can pipe it in once I fry my donuts. They have doubled in size. Now I, my oil, I have it in a Dutch oven, it, about two inches, is up to 350. I'm going to gently place this in. I like to place oil side down, the side that was sitting on the oil, down. And then I'm going to let it get golden on one side takes about three to four minutes. Then I'll take my tongs and flip them over. Here's my first one done and I'm going to place it on the rack and let it drain. And you're going to let them cool. They hold their shape pretty good. See how pretty they are? Look at that. Then put some chocolate on it, fill it with custard. Mm -mm -mm. It will be ready to go. I'm just going to finish the rest of these and I'm going to let them cool. My pastry cream is cooling in the refrigerator and I'll show you how it all comes together. My pastry cream is cool. My donuts have cooled. Now it's time to make the chocolate glaze. So you take some powdered sugar, which is what I have in here, some cocoa powder, get it all out of there. And there's a pinch of salt in the powdered sugar too that I had. Then I'm going to add some milk. And it doesn't look like a lot, but it is. And then I'm going to add some
now I'm going to add some corn syrup and I'm going to add in some vanilla. See, it will be thick enough to um, dip your donuts in and get them coated, but it's not so thin that it'll run off. See my little heart shaped lovely? Isn't that pretty? You're going to stick a um, wooden stick in there, a wooden spoon, the end of it. Just kind of move it around. Here is my pastry cream. It's all cooled off. There we go. Stick the tip in there. And you're going to see the cream will start to come out when it's full. And all you, all you do, all you do is take it, dip it. There you go. The perfect punchki for Fat Tuesday. Mmm. All right, here we go. That is better than you could get in any store. And it's like those ones in ham tram. I can taste the crunch in the donut, mm. the pastry cream, and the good chocolate glaze. Remember, if you want this recipe, go to www.justinthekitchen.com and make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make comments in the bottom. I keep asking you guys and you don't do it. So like, share, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Enjoy Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday, whatever you celebrate. God bless. Bye-bye.